breaking residency must be zoned to Igos or open to hall. Welcome to the news. A member of the Ondo State House of Assembly, Tomide Akinibido, has argued that the next president to replace President Muhammadu Buhari should be from the southeast. Ahead of the 2023 presidential elections, there has been pressure on the two leading political parties, All Progressive Congress APC and the People's Democratic Party PDP, to present candidates from the southern part of the country over claims of marginalization. Southern leaders have also been vocal about the need to zone the presidency to the region, arguing that it will ease calls for secession from agitated, agi agitated voices. But on Monday, September 27, governors from the northern region, after a meeting in Cardona, condemned the clamor of zoning and said the claim is not in line with the dictate of the constitution. Joining the debate, Akane Bido, the deputy minority leader in the Ondo Assembly, took to his Twitter account on Tuesday and said Southern leaders are driving by selfishness when they clamor for the presidency to be zoned to their region. He added that if the leaders from the South want to be fair, they should agree that the presidency should be zoned to only the Southeast. All clamors about power shift by Southern leaders are mere selfish and personal agitations to me, except, except they decide to be fair and just by demanding for power to shift to the Southeast, he said. If the joining agitation is not for the Igbos to benefit, count me out of it. He says, if it's not about Igbo presidency, then it should be thrown open to all, including the North. If you are not going to be just and equitable, then all should be in fear of war. The tweet of the lawmaker generated reaction and responding to someone who agreed with him. The lawmaker further said with a quote tweet, if it is not if it is not about Igbo presidency, then it should not then it should be thrown open to all, including the North. If we are not going to be just and equitable, then all should be fear in war. Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinobu, the leader of the All Progressive Congress APC, is joining up with some people saying that he has an alliance with the ruling APC for power to return to the West through him in 2023. Indeed, the controversy over which region should produce the next president in 2023 is already an issue, and every zone of the country seems to have interest in the issue. The North plans to keep the presidency after the two terms of President Muhammad Buhari. There are also Prof. Yemi Oshibaju, the current vice president, Ekiti State Governor, the person of Kayo Defayemi, and former Ogo State Governor, Senator Ibekule Amosu, Amosu, who are among those, those touted to have interest in the highest office in the country. There is also Governor Kayo De Fayemi of Ekiti State. These are from the Southwest. The South South also seems to be interested in the position on the premise that its son, Jonathan, was not given the opportunity to serve for two times like others. The South East, East, the South East Zone, the only zone in the South, in the Southern region that is yet to produce a president, should be high in the position, but it seems lackluster about it. Whenever the issue of presidency of Igbo extraction comes up, it becomes difficult to decide whether the Southeast wants Igbo presidency, restructuring or Biafra, known for their individualism. Most political leaders in the Southeast are driven by selfish ten tendencies, and this has affected the people over the years. Will a, pr will a president of Igbo extraction be realized when the people are not united? and cannot speak with one voice and on top of it, they are perceived to play bad politics. Apart from former Anabra governor, Mr. Peter Obi, who genuinely selflessly fight for the Igbo, cost, Igbo cause and senators Ike Ikwere Mado and Einaya Abaribe, 
Many other politicians seem to have nothing to write home about. Politicians of the APC appear to be under the illusion that after Buhari would have completed his tenure in 2023, power would be handed over to the Igbo. But that is not the way politics is played in Nigeria or anywhere else. The South has missed so many chances. The people seem to be groping in the dark since they returned to democracy in 1999. Some believe that Dr. Alex Ekwemi was betrayed at the PDP, at the PDP just convention, when Dr. Lucia Gung Obasanjo was brought up of prison and imposed as PDP's presidential candidate. Others believe that it was akin to what they did to Dr. Namdi Azekwe in the First Republic, when after he won an election in Lagos, the table suddenly turned and he was betrayed overnight. Aside, the great Dr. Azekwe and Dr. Ekweme, the, president, the present crop of Igbo political leaders, appear weak and lacking in what it takes to negotiate profitably for their people, most clearly seek selfish interests. It should be recalled that before Buhari won his second term in office, a powerful delegation of Igbo APC leaders, led by Obunaya Onu, Minister of Science and Technology, had endorsed him for another term in office. They said the president did not did enough to merit a second term. That that delegation comprised former Deputy Governor of Imo State, Eze Madumere, who represented Richard Okorocha before the duo fell out. Serving members of APC in the last National Assembly, former governors, the former ministers from the Southeast, members of the, of the then National Working Committee and National Executive Committee of the APC. They had endorsed Buhari without negotiating the terms of endorsement. Many tagged them naive. There was no question of what Buhari would, would do for Undibu during his second term. The delegation was happy that the president received them. Yeah, I have um, a few comments. Um, this one says, this, this is one of the comments I have here. It says, this must be one of the very sensible and unbiased ones. Honorable Akeribido, I sincerely salute.